Parker. I'm speaking on the behalf of Greg Adler, Daniel Hakenen, and me. Uh, we did the Industrial Revolution in Minecraft, so I'm going to show you around. Uh, starting off here in the town of Nala, uh, you can see that a lot of these houses are big, mainly because they are owned by uh, capitalists who made a did. And now I'm going to be going, oh yeah, they also lived by factories because oh, that's where a lot of the big homes were and they could afford stuff like that. So now I'm going to be making our way into the factory. Uh, starting off right here is the um, the spinning jenny, which threads multiple lines of cotton or string at once, which makes things very efficient. Uh, you can see how this is a little bit later in the Industrial Revolution when they made things a little bit safer because a lot of the times kids were working there and they could get injured. I'm now going to be entering Joe Mama's office, even though it says keep out. Uh, he's got a nice little desk here, a painting of what looks like looks to be Greg Adler can't tell but I'm gonna keep moving on uh, here's the staircase that Greg Adler built just about the only thing he did all project I'm gonna be moving up all right here we have the uh, we have <laughs> the power loom and it actually moves the things around like you can see the cotton being moved like that and you can see this one's pretty guarded too so that kids can't get injured in there and then these guys are all collecting the the stuff that gets out of here and put on this line. Uh, so this guy is Donkey. Uh, then we got Simp, aka Nick Bauer, doing every girl's homework. Next up, my boy Chody Magodi, aka Matt Wagner. And last but not least, we got Wonga. Uh, yeah. So these guys just basically collect everything that's gonna come. Uh, out of the machine and it comes down this line because somebody's got to collect it right, I'm now going to be going to the town of Androsi so I'm leaving Nala and I'm going to Androsi so a big way of trans <laughs> you want to go buddy <laughs> yeah that's what, that's what they deserve but a big way of transportation was by railroad. And this is exactly what this is, is railroad. And you know, maybe they did kill the cows back in the day, I don't know. But I'm making my way over to Androsi now. You can see that the railroads were a lot quicker than walking. And uh, they contributed a lot to the transportation of goods. And a lot of traders also lived in the town of um, Nala because they could trade goods from, that were created from the factory over to Androsi. So in Androsi you can see the houses are a little bit smaller and um, things just weren't as good because this is more farmers you can see the hay barrels. Um, yeah not too much to be said here. Um, yeah that's a fat potato but anyways I'm gonna keep making my way you could just see, definitely a smaller town. I'm actually gonna be going back to the factory because I forgot to show a couple things. Um, so all you can see, yeah, we're making it back to the factory. Pretty cool factory if you ask me. Looks just like the old ones. Um, so I'm gonna go over here and this is a water wheel. So the water wheels would create power to um, you know create power. <laughs> I'm not gonna be going down in my mind. So this is all the coal they would mine, but most importantly, they would do some TNT mining. So light this off. Ooh, some diamonds.